About 10 years ago, gastric bypass procedures like this one started to gain in popularity across the United States. However, back then, there were concerns about the safety of these operations, especially among Medicare patients. And because of that, Medicare put in place a rule where they would only reimburse you for the surgery if you were, it was performed at a so-called center of excellence. To be classified a center of excellence, hospitals must adhere to certain criteria, be accredited by either the American College of Surgeons or the American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. They must also perform at least 125 bariatric procedures each year. Dr. Justin Dimmick from the Center for Healthcare Outcomes and Policy at the University of Michigan and co-authors examined hospital discharge data from Medicare patients who underwent bariatric procedures compared to non-Medicare patients. The data came from 12 states between 2004 and 2009. Researchers measured overall and serious complication rates along with reoperations. Outcomes did get dramatically better over the study period, but this improvement was already underway before Medicare made this rule. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. When we directly compared outcomes at centers of excellence to non-centers of excellence, they were equivalent. So the so-called centers of excellence actually did not have better performance. Researchers also say there were two side effects of this policy. Patients aren't getting surgery in the first place, and the patients who are getting surgery have to travel further, sometimes away from their home and their family, to undergo the procedure. Surgical experience and technology has also improved over time, and researchers suggest that Medicare should reevaluate this policy. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.